The Soybean School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans, and High Stick NT. We're here at Farm Smart in Guelph, and we're talking to Dr. David Hooker from Ridgetown. Welcome to the show, Dr. Dave. Thank you. Dave, we've been talking about the, I guess, the different factors of yield in soybeans, and you've looked at a lot of things over the last six years. So something you've been looking at in the last year is the impact of foliar fungicides. Tell us about what you've learned. Obviously, it's, it's, there's more of a, a, a yield bump there than we thought. Well, that's right. So fungicides is an important factor, a management factor that a grower could apply to control diseases, diseases that could rob the soybean of yield, precious yield. So the question is, what is the yield response to fungicide applications? So we've done a lot of work in the past six, seven years or so looking at fungicides, what's the yield response across varieties, different environments. And we've seen on average around two bushel yield response to a fungicide application. So that response, that two bushel yield response is a very important number because growers use that number and they figure in you know, the cost of soybeans and their application costs to determine whether to spray or not. But there, we know that there's lots of other factors that are involved as well. There's an environmental effect, there's the variety effect. We see variety responses from zero to four, over four bushel to the acre response to a fungicide application. But the, the thing is, the problem is, is that these responses tend to be quite variable. We're not really satisfied with how consistent these responses are. Sure, it's a two bushel to the acre on average, but in a lot of cases, we have a lot of zeros, but we also have you know some three, fours, and five bushel responses. And our main quest now is to figure out how we can get more consistent responses so growers would have a greater chance of, of earning some profit due to a fungicide application. And of course we don't want to apply a fungicide application if it's not going to pay for itself. And because there, it could be a hazardous to the environment, it costs the producer more. So we want to make those cases, number of cases, uh, keep them to, to a minimum. But just recently we've uh, come across some work and we we're doing some work regarding timing of fungicide application and we thought you know a later fungicide application between R3 and R4 like that's when the canopy is at its fullest at its maximum size and we need to keep that canopy long into the growing season probably that is the ideal timing for a fungicide right so because it only lasts for so long we want to keep that canopy green throughout the seed fill period and so that's what we were thinking uh, was our ideal timing and a lot of labels on the fungicides are at R3, late R3 or that's the target at least anyway. But we've been trying some early fungicide applications so earlier R2 so there's a, a flower at one of the two upper nodes. In some cases the beans aren't, e rows aren't even filled in during that stage and this work that we've done in the past year shows um, quite a significant response at that early timing compared to a later timing. So we have some yeah. timing issue here. So you used Preaxor and Headline, right? And yes. what do the results show? I mean, because it was a significant bump this year. Yeah, so this, this study was uh, sponsored by BSF. And so uh, I took a look at their data from the past couple years and, and I said, well, yeah, we really should look at this because that data looks great, but I like to you know, see data for myself, like independent uh, data set. And, uh, and true enough, our data this year also supports what BSF saw um, the past couple years, that um, headline respond, tends to respond more to that earlier application. And plus, there's a new fungicide chemistry that BSF is just releasing this year for sale. It's called Preaxor, and it seems to be delivering um, about a bushel more than headline does. And so that is just a tremendous um, uh, opportunity for fungicide application in soybeans, if we can get another bushel response, a consistent response above headline, that is a tremendous management opportunity here in the development of new fungicide chemistries.